guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is my fourth video I'm recording today, so sorry if I see it. See, I've already messed up. I'm a little stuttery today because I've recorded four videos for the weekend. I am going to record as much videos related to the whiteboard and the tutorial because I need to push out some content because I definitely owe you guys it. Um, and we're almost at 1,000 subscribers, so I'm preparing for a 1,000 subscriber video edit. So if you have any suggestions on what I should, else I should do for 1,000 subscribers, please let me down below because I have no clue what I'm going to do. But anyways, this video we're going to be doing uh, automators. This is episode 22, I believe. If I'm wrong, then uh, there will be a text somewhere. But yeah, uh, let's get on with it. We're going to do automators. That's how I said. I promised I would do automators last video. Which, for me, was a few minutes ago. I just said that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's add another button. We're getting tons of buttons here. The navigation's looking pretty messy. So, that's up to you on how you want to organize it. So, but since we're adding another button, I need to do one thing. I need to move these achievements. Because it's definitely, like, <laughs> in a bad spot. That should fix it. What about events? How's events looking? Uh, yeah, I need to kind of move some stuff down. So here, let's turn off the main screen and kind of adjust. So yeah, this is kind of the problem with our stuff is that we're already getting really messy. So we can just drag this down. Now this isn't like the best way to do it because everything isn't anchored to the top. So we can make sure that's anchored to the top. Make sure everything here is also anchored to the top. This is stretch. Now we can just move Monday, and that should be a lot better. So let's do Monday, or let's do Tuesday now. So yeah, if you need to have like a scroll rec thing, you can do that. If you don't know how to do scroll recs, uh, let me down below, and I can do tutorial on that, or you can just simply Google it on tutorial. Whatever satisfies you. So let's just do all this real quick. Now we can scale this downwards. Much better. Cool, cool, cool. Prestige. How's Prestige looking? Okay, that's fine. We need to remove this right here. So this will be our automator button. This will be like auto buyers, so automator. All right, so now we need to do an automator screen. Uh, like usual, I just copy the previous one, so I don't have to create a new object every time and delete the old stuff. All right, uh, let's actually keep a button because we can just use those for later. And this will be called the automator screen or the auto screen. I'm just gonna call it the auto screen. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna delete this button because I can just grab one of these right here. So, yeah, we'll just have the same upgrade system, except we don't need a Bimax. So what, how this is going to work, we're going to have an upgrade, we're going to have it unlock, and we're going to have it, like, upgrade the speed. So, let's move everything out. So, I'm, it depends on how time goes, but I think I'm only going to do one automator. So, I'm just going to put this dead in the center. And this will be, actually, I'll do two, one for protection as well. So this is click, no, this is going to be click U for the click upgrade. And this is going to be called auto by click upgrade one. Or we'll just do click upgrade. Okay, not, I'm assuming you guys would have names. Click upgrade one auto buyer. And this will be, this will cost, this will be pretty pricey, I believe. So let's just do 1e4 coins. Or we can make these gems. We can make these cost gems. What do you, th what do you guys think? Um, let's make them cost coins. But if you want to do gems or souls from the double prestige, you can just change the currency however you want in the script. So we have our first one. We're going to have production. Production U. Okay, and this one will be production upgrade one auto buyer. And we can make this one a little bit more expensive. Um, okay, so here we're going to do... Oh, come on, let me edit. Interval. Let's see, what's the initial interval could be? It can be 
10 seconds, okay? And we can go all the way down to maximum, which is like every frame, okay? We'll do the same thing for this one. Cool. So this will be, we're going to make a new script called the Automator Manager. So I'm going to change this button name to Automators. And we're going to make uh, Automator Manager. Cool. Also, another thing I think, I actually, never mind. I didn't screw up on anything. I thought this box was my <laughs> uh, auto screen. Also, before we forget, change this to Auto. <laughs> change the because I forget every time. Cool. We are in. Before we forget again, we're gonna import Unity Engine dot UI namespace. All right. So we have this is pretty much the same thing as this right here. So we can do this exact same way, the same setup. So what we can do is copy all this stuff from the Prestige Manager and go in here, and now. We don't want this in here. So let's go to our main before we continue. Let's do the navigation. So where is our group? So we're going to add public canvas group auto group. And then at the bottom here, we're going to add auto group. Change the label to auto. And we're going to set auto group to false on disable all. Now we're good here. All right, so our costs, we only have two. So we're gonna have two, two. Make sure you increase that. And also we're gonna have to define a maximum limit. So if you wanna have, so this can be completely based on, so let's actually, let's have a level cap. Levels cap. Ah, uh, shoot, we gotta go back to our main. Sorry if I'm jumping around a lot. Hopefully it's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna add hashtag region. Auto meters, hashtag end region. And then here we're gonna have public int auto level one, auto level two. We only have two autos, so we're just gonna do that. And we're gonna make a region, hashtag region autos. Tag end region. Awesome. And set them both to zero. All right, so all right, we got some of it done. We need to add using static break infinity dot big double. But we also need to add. Actually, I don't think we'll. Yeah, we'll probably use that. We also just need to add, we need to add the, just the regular break infinity uh, class. It's actually a struct. And the difference between a struct and a class, everything in the struct's public. So it's basically like making a giant variable. So let's see, it's like this, the big, the, bleh, the big double. So the break, the break infinity is a name, sorry, I think I got looped up before, but break infinity is a namespace and big double is a struct, if that makes sense. Instead of a class. Class is like where it's private, everything where it's mostly private, and a struct is like a public object where it can be used anywhere as long as you have the namespace. Hopefully, I'm describing that correctly. Um, so let's start defining stuff. So the first, so we only have two automators. Um, so cost one is going to be equal to one e four. Did you need to freeze? No, one e four, one e five. So we're going to do one e four. 25. I'm going to make these pretty pricey. So I'm going to keep this cost mold because I like them. Uh, I'm going to do auto level 1, auto level 2. Uh, now we need to have our costs. So before we do that, we need to add intervals. Uh, so level caps, level caps. Okay, how am I going to do this? So let's do levels caps equals new int. And we're going to cap that at 2. Oh, actually, what we can do is do new array, and we want the limit, so let's see, let's say we want 20 levels, we're going to do 20 levels, so we're just going to do 20, 20, done. 20 level is instant, alright? So let's let's plan how we're going to do this, how we're going to attack this. 
So let's go to Notepad. So let's say we have 20 sec or 10 seconds is our default and we got 20 upgrades. So we could just do a half second every time. So 9.5, 9, 8.5, all the way down to 1. So let's see. We have 8, 7.5, 7, 7.5, 7, 6, 5.5, 5, 5, 5, 5 4, 3.5, 3, 2.5, 2. 1.5, 1, 1.5, 0, where it's instant, okay? So here we actually have 21 upgrades. So let's actually increase this limit to 21. So 21 will be our instant, okay? So we'll use this in the future to prevent buying even more upgrades because that really does, does that feeds the purpose. Um, so let's add intervals. This can be a public float array, public float um intervals so right, hopefully i'm not jumping too much around in this cost description we will we will fix this eventually so this is this should be start automators um intervals we're gonna create a new int two. Oh, it's a float and so that's why okay also let's go back here because we're gonna need this array manager again So cost will equal cost one. We don't need that. We don't need that. Auto level one, auto level two. All right, so there's our array manager. All right, make that private. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's grab these names real quick. So here's our auto screen. Where is all of our stuff? Oh, it's right here. It's not even in the actual screen itself. Oops. All right. So, so we have our click one auto buyer. And we have our production one auto buyer. Production upgrade one auto buyer. Yep. And we only need two of those. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, this honestly runs very similarly to how we do it here. So it, <laughs> it's pretty much exactly what we're going to do. So we can literally just take this UI from the Prestige Manager, copy in here. And now we need to do game dot. Um, auto group and cost x length we can do the exact same thing so now we need to we need to manage this a different way so we can have level we can also have we don't add too much text so I guess I won't do level this time so we have our description we have our costs now we need our interval interval uh, we need to define this too. So we'll add this to our array manager. So intervals zero is going to equal uh, 10 times auto level one. No, it's 10 minus auto level one times 0 0.5. So now this is the part we got to be careful because if we have... What's wrong here? Oh, it can't convert. Oh, why? What's a double? Oh, it's because 0 0.5 is a double. Right. We can get rid of these parentheses. I, I'm so bad at those. So if we put this into a calculator, our max level is 21, right? So if we do 10 minus 21 times 0 0.5, we get negative 0.5 seconds, which we don't want. So we start at 0, right? So we need to somehow make this not work if it's zero. So we're going to do level minus one so that this zero is like when we unlock it, right? So that's level zero. So level one is like our, our second purchase up to 21 levels. So we'll just do this 21 minus one, which again is 20. And we have our zero seconds. Okay. So we're going to do 
if data at a level is greater than zero, then we're going to set our interval to this. And now, let's see, do we still need parentheses here? I don't believe so, yeah. So we're gonna subtract it by one, otherwise intervals is 10, I guess. <laughs> you can just do it like that. Um, okay, we can do the same thing for our auto level two, intervals one, and just replace that, and that's, pretty much it for that okay so we're gonna have our interval we're gonna do intervals i we're gonna do f0 because we don't we're gonna do f1 okay i actually have an idea so we're gonna do if level at i is greater than or equal than it's really, it won't go over 21, but that's just for just for safety measures. If level i is greater than 21, is greater than 21, then our interval, then we're going to mention instant. Otherwise, oh, shoot. <laughs> We're going to do can't do that here. I was going to do two string F1. There you go. That should work. So if our level is maxed, it will display instant and it will do so. So that should be good for the UI. Oh, for the for this now is going to be coins. So we're basically just gonna do game dot coins temp and game dot data dot coins coins. So we're gonna do coins temp. Now we already do this smooth number, so we can just ignore this. Game dot coins temp cost i cost bar smooth perfecto. Okay. Also, what we can do is if level of levels one is greater than levels cap i for optimization purposes, because some of them might not be 21, you know. And you can also always change the interval thing here accordingly. Okay, so we need to add the buy, which we can go straight from buy upgrade. Just copy this. And we got this now. So. Our level will be auto level one. We only have two. So we'll do auto level one and auto level two. So this is going to be coins, not gems. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> also, we need to add an if statement. So we need to add and level is greater than. So basically, if level is also greater than the interval cap what's our cap is it levels cap levels cap i d then we will return it otherwise if it's the levels less than the cap or equal to so we need to do greater than or equal than because we don't want to buy more than what we already have than what the cap should be so make sure you add if level is greater or equal than levels cap it will return okay we will not buy any more so I think we have all of this like the basic mechanics done. We just need to do like the automator stuff. So we're here. We're gonna do void run auto. Okay. So this is a little tricky because we have to have like a timer. So we're gonna add public float timer, and we're gonna set timer equal to new float with size two, which is basically what we do for intervals. Cool. All right. And by default, there's zero. So we're gonna do if, if levels zero is greater than 
is greater than zero, then we're going to run this automator. All right, it'll start auto buying for us. So we will do a timer plus equals timer, or just time dot delta, time dot delta time. at index zero. Um, okay, so we'll run that. But we also need to check if timer zero is greater or equal than, so we can have our, our time or interval. So our interval, where is that? Our interval is being set right here. So if it's greater or equal than our interval at zero, then we are going to run the claim or the auto buy, which will be game dot buy click one upgrade. Where is this? Click one upgrade. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> buy upgrade. Okay. So it's buy upgrade and we're going to do the correct one. So the thing with this being instant is that it could lag just a little bit. I think so. We'll set this. so that's why I don't like doing instant upgrades at that point. We will just do a uh, buy max, okay? Yeah, that 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 sounds like a deal. We will just buy max game dot buy upgrade, and we're gonna do C one, C one, booyah. That's it. Oh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> we have to reset the timer. Okay. Cool. So now we need to make sure if... If levels is not equal to levels cap zero, then we're going to run this else if it's capped out then we're just going to game dot by let's see how do we handle this so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and not run the whole thing every time so we're gonna do if uh, game dot by click upgrade max jeez is not equal to zero. So basically it means we can buy at least one. Then we're gonna run buy click upgrade max. That's it. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. So this is that. Now we need to do this exact same thing for production. This point we can just do auto we can input all this stuff. So instead of copy and paste this twice, we can easily just put this in a new method, our own method in here. And let's see, int ID. So this will be our ID here. ID, 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 ID here. We need a string for the name, string name. So we'll put the name in here. ID and oh we need to call our method too. Uh can we do void? I don't think we can. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Cause this buy upgrade works. I think we would just have to do something in here. Okay, let's try this. So we're gonna do switch, we're gonna add a switch case right here. Switch case name. So if the name is C1, we're gonna add this and then break. Cool, and then now if we're gonna do a production one, which is P1, we're gonna do P1, and then we're gonna do by production, by production one, max count, and by uh, let's see, what is this one? Pr 
production upgrade one. Oh, it's just buy. Oh yeah, it's ma max. There we go. That's it right there. Cool. So now what we can do here, this is a very lengthy method, but you can easily expand upon this, which is very nice. You can just do auto alter ID, I think it's zero. And then the name is just C1. And that's that. And then for the second auto, we do P1. And that is very it. So now instead of copying and pasting this tens of times for how many upgrades you have, all you gotta do is that. And now we run our auto. We're gonna do, yeah, we're just gonna run the auto. Cause yeah, that, yeah, that should be okay. I think we're done, finally. Okay, so now in here, we need to add all of our stuff again. So let's cost us, yeah, we don't need to do that. It's just the UI. I think that's it. Cool. So our elements are two. We're going to do two, two, two. Why is it three? Oh, uh, that's why. Two, two, two. That's not going to make a difference, but I might as well just change it in there too while we're at it. Cool, so now we got less stuff to drag in. <laughs> so we have our our cost text and our second cost text. Progress bar, labeled progress bar, and then we have our smooth. Okay, so now these buttons, we need to apply. Oh, this is it. We need to drag our auto manager in here and do buy upgrade. So this is zero and this is one, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, that is. Cool. Uh, this is fun. <laughs> I do this every day. I find my weaknesses and I get better at it. It's very nice. And if you're new to coding and you're not that great at it is what you say, just code every day. Just do your best. Just put a few hours in every day and you'll get so much better. Look just look stuff online, how to do how to do this certain way, efficiency, in the most efficient way. If you learn new things about C Sharp, you're guaranteed to get better at coding fast. And it just takes a lot of time, though, and effort. I'm not just like, I'm just going to uh, just not work on it, but work on the tutorials, and then I'm done. And then, yeah, you got to do outside learning, too. Advice. Anyways, I'm getting off, off task. So we need to add our our canvas to the game manager, which is our auto screen. What? <laughs> canvas group? Why is that a canvas group? <laughs> okay, that's very weird. So make sure your auto group is a canvas, not a canvas group. Okay, oh, shoot. auto screen. Okay, before I forget anything else, we need to drag this game. I almost forgot again. Um, cool. I think we're done. Let's cross our fingers. Let's turn this off, and let's go to our main screen. I am expecting bugs. By the ways, if you didn't know, I'm expecting bugs. All right, let's go to automators. Ah, it's, what? What? <laughs> Told you. I was expecting bugs. Bugs always happen. And if you experience bugs when you're free time coding, just go back and I'm pretty sure you can find figure out your mistakes like I just did. Yeah. What? Auto. Whoa. Auto group. Why is auto grouping a? Okay. That is odd. Why is there auto group the rebirth? Oh, it's because I'm stupid and I dragged in the wrong one. Pay attention. Pay attention, people. 
Okay, let's go to automators. Cool. So it looks like our progress bars so far aren't working. I'm going to close all my other scripts because we got a lot open. So why is our UI? Okay, I see why. We forgot. So I tend to do this so much when I do methods like this. Instead of adding it to the update, I just do this. But I keep forgetting to add the run. So in here, you just do... Oh, we don't have autos, don't we? No, I guess not. Public. So make sure you add public automator manager. And then I'm just going to put auto at the top of your main script. I'm going to do auto.run. So that means in our game manager object, we will need to drag our automator manager in here in the inspector. Save that. And it should work. Oh, index out of range. What is up? Okay. So costs are set to zero. Why are costs set to zero? Okay, so we forgot to add our start manager too. So yeah, make sure you make sure you add all this stuff. Auto dot start automator in your start method. Okay. There we go. It works. So an interval says zero. I should make it locked if it's upgrade zero, but it's okay. Let's try it. So there's no upgrades being bought at the moment, so let's buy our first one. Cool. So let's try it. See if it buys any. So it's level 138. Oh, just bought one. Woohoo! So we can go upgrade Frenzy on this. Oh, we got negative. Okay. Okay, so it's buying past our limits. That's why. So yeah, we can't buy any of these. Okay, ready? Look at that. Look at our automator go. <laughs> Every two seconds now. This is OP. <laughs> Uh, we can buy some of this too. So while that's going, here, let's add eight. Instant! Okay, ready? This is not ready. Basically, just auto buy maxes at this point. <laughs> that's so cool. So if we prestige, watch this. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, we don't have any money. Duh. <laughs> Look at that. It just auto buys for you. That's so cool. Here, let's press each one more time. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love this. I don't know why. I have so much fun when I do this kind of stuff. Uh, let's add nine. Let's do our production. So another good upgrade is to start prestige with this many coins. For sure. Yeah, look at that. That's so much fun. I love this kind of stuff. So anyways, we need to fix that negative uh, fact real quick, and then we are done. So let's go to buy. So we need to make sure uh, if coins... Okay, so what I like to do is if this is getting mixed up, I can just add a method pretending like I'm going to do this. So you can do if coins is greater than or equal than coins and and level is less than our cap we can so and less than our cap we will return this that's okay that's that's the reason why is because i didn't i did this incorrectly so make sure your buy is doing this or else you're gonna get negatives so it should be if data coins is greater than if so basically it's the complete opposite of this because of this exclamation mark all right, so we can save that. It should not go negative anymore. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I was really excited about adding this to this video. If you have any suggestions, oh, you didn't like me for a second. He was like, be quiet. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you're new. And let me know if you have any com or if you have any suggestions in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace. <laughs>